Hey guys, my name is Rob and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an update on my Canadian based dividend portfolio. I'll show you guys how my Wealth Silver Trading account has been doing and I'll show you guys what stocks I'm currently buying during this little bit of a dip that we've been experiencing recently in the stock market. So in today's video, we'll do the usual course. I'll give you guys an update on my stocks, my portfolio. I'll show you guys how my stocks are doing. I'll show you guys what stocks I'm buying and then we'll get inside the dividend income and I'll show you guys um, how much dividend income we've been making inside this portfolio and show you guys how things have basically been going on since we first started investing in this portfolio. So once again, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, please smash the like button and remember to subscribe to the channel if you guys want to be notified of when I do these updates. Let's jump inside the Wealth Simple Trade account and let's see how our portfolio is doing today. All right, guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome inside the Wealth Simple Trade portfolio. So lots of big things happening today and over the past couple days. I'll do a quick little overview of our stock portfolio just to kind of get things started and I'll show you guys my different accounts and I'll show you guys what stocks I'm kind of taking a peek at today. So in total, we have $97,000 and $150 inside our Wealth Silver Trade account. This is split across a couple different portfolios. So I'll just go over these really quickly so you guys can see. So the first portfolio we have is our personal account, which is basically our more active account that we've been trading with late recently. It's got a balance of $8,665. Um, our second one is, the, is our RRSB, which is our growth-based portfolio that we just started on the channel. If you guys missed that, check out my last video. I talked about how I'm kind of building a growth-based portfolio that's going to be kind of put inside my RRSB. And then our third account, which is our final account, which is the main one we started on this channel, is going to be our TFSA. And this is our biggest portfolio that we've kind of been building since I first started this channel. I kind of like documented it. It's the first account I made. And if you guys have been long-term viewers of the channel, it's mostly the main account that I've kind of been tracking here and building um, with Wall Simple Trade. And then towards the bottom, we have a crypto account that I haven't bought anything yet, but I have opened up. So maybe in the future, I will do some crypto um, investing sometime. I'm just kind of thinking about that, uh, but I do have plans on starting something in, in, in the near future. So the first account, I'll do a quick little update. It's going to be the TFA, TFSA since it is the biggest account that I have. So over the past day, the TFSA is down negative 1%, which is $1,100. We've seen a big dip in the market today. And um, the good news about this is that we have a lot of stocks that are currently going on sale. So we're going to be taking out a, a, a taking a peek at some stocks today. I have some money to put in the account and I'll show you guys what my plans are. But over the past week, we're down negative 1%, which is about $1,000. Um, over the past week, we're down about negative $400. Over the past month, we're down negative 2%, which is almost $2,000. So the past month or so has actually been a bit of a dip, um, which is the first dip we kind of got this year. So. Um, which is kind of interesting. Over the past three months, we're still up a little bit, but over the past year, we're still up 6% all time over the past year, and then all time, this portfolio is up 6%. Keep in mind, uh, we do have that big deposit that came in in August, um, so those earnings aren't really factored in here. Uh, but yeah, so this is basically the first time this year over the past, I'd say, month or so, we've seen a, a dip inside our stock. So it's, it's kind of interesting. If you go to the personal account, I'll do you guys, I'll give you guys a quick little update since this is the main one we're actually buying and trading stocks right now. So over the past day, the personal account, once again, is down negative 2%. Over the past week, it's about sitting at zero. Past month, it's down negative one. Past three months, it's up 1%. And then all time, this portfolio is up 2% um, as well. All right, so we have a total of $316 to trade inside of Wealth Simple Trade account. And just taking a peek at some of the stocks here, you guys can see that pretty much everything inside our portfolio took a bit of a hit. Everything, almost everything is the negative other than a few stocks. So we have AQN, which is in the negative. We have Manulife, that's in the negative. Uh, Power Corporation of Canada, we just bought this and we've seen this dip a little bit uh, since we, we we recently bought it. TELUS went down quite a bit. TD is just kind of sitting there at 0%. Um, VDY is up 2% and then VFE is actually not doing too bad. Our US stocks took a bit of a dip recently, but not as much as some of the other Canadian stocks here. So, um, But overall, the, the whole portfolio of the past day or two or even the past month or so is kind of dipping a little bit. So the reality of the situation is we could look at this and buy stocks that have dipped a lot, or we can just kind of stick to our guns and just buy the same stocks uh, we normally buy. So if you're kind of looking for direction, I would recommend you guys probably do a bit of both. Um, so when it comes to investing in my portfolios, I always like to invest in my ETFs on a regular basis just to kind of move with the market. And that basically has shown us that ETFs you know, do well long term. So our VFE, which is our S&P 500, has historically proven to be to do well long term and it always seems to do well so we'll put some money into there vdy also our canadian based etf continued to do well so we'll put some money in there and the other stocks i'm going to be buying is probably going to take a peek at aqn aqn is one i haven't bought for quite a while 
and it's dipped a little bit over the past day or so. So Algonquin, Algonquin Power and Utilities is a good growth based utility uh, company come from, coming out of Canada. And if we go over the past week, we can see that it's down 4% in the past weeks. And then over the past month, it's down 5%. So it's taken a bit of a dip. It's had a rough year, um, kind of going up and down a lot, but also getting a big dip. We've seen a bit of recovery, but once again, this is a stock I think I'm buying uh, because it is dipped and I do believe it is has potential to go up. You know, they have good earnings. They have a good growth-based company. They have good growth over the past qu quite a bit, and they do have good earnings, and they do have good dividend growth as well, and they have a good dividend yield. Uh, this company has a good dividend yield, so it's a nice stock that's kind of in the middle. If you go with the past five years' history of the stock, you can just see it's performed pretty well, and it's recovered quite well, especially if you look at the long-term history of the company. I think they're going to do great. They're just in a bit of a dip right now, um, so I'm probably going to be putting about $100 or so from the personal account inside of AQN, so I'll put that trade through really quickly. And if you guys want to follow links that are with me, there are links to Wealth Simple Trade in the description of this video. You guys can use those links and you'll get two free stocks if you sign up. And I will also get a couple of stocks as well. So thanks if you guys want to use it. It's a good way you guys can support the channel. Um, the next stock I'm going to take a peek at is probably going to be, once again, another stock that I've been looking to buy for a while. Telus is something I've bought in the past that I think is a good company. And Telus, once again, I think everything right now has dipped quite a bit. If you go over the past month, we can see it's once again, it's down 3.61%. So a lot of our good quality stocks we've been buying have dipped quite a bit. So I'm going to buy some more Telus. I've been meaning to buy Telus for a while. A while. While, so I'm going to put about maybe $100 or so, I'll put about $80 into Telus, and then I'm probably going to split the rest of the money maybe into VDY or something, since I do have, uh, I did take a peek earlier, and I still have quite a bit of VFD inside this portfolio from when I first started it. So I think um, what I'm going to do for the last stock I'm going to be buying, I'm just going to put in type VDY, which is the overall market, and we'll do a quick little recap here. So VDY is our Vanguard Canadian High Dividend Based Fund, holds a lot of good quality companies, a lot of big dividend uh, based Canadian companies, but I think which I think Canada has some of the best dividend-based companies. Um, over the past week, VDY is down one point or is up one point three percent. Over the past day, it's down a little bit. Over the past month, it's about zero percent, and over the past three months, it's kind of sitting around that zero percent. So not much happening over the past little while. It's kind of going up, kind of going down. Um, over the past year, it is up thirty-five percent, which is pretty sweet. And I kind of expected this because Canadian. Uh, Canadian stocks last year, like Canadian stocks across the board had a really crappy year. We didn't see the recovery last year. Uh, we kind of seen it this year. So it, you know, VDY is still a good, a good ETF, even though we're seeing a bit of a dip, it's still up 35% over the past year. Um, so I actually wouldn't be surprised if we see a dip going towards the end of the year. Um, and that's okay because like the fund has done so well. So it'd be interesting to see if we continue with this dip towards the end of the year, or if we see a bit of a pickup, uh, it'll kind of be interesting to happen. So I'm going to put in the rest of my money into VDY here. I'm just going to take a quick peek and see how much we have. So we have $168. We'll put the rest of that into VDY. And also VDY does give us that monthly dividend as well. Um, I'm just going to go here and go limit buy, I guess, uh, since we can't do fractional shares. And highest price I'm going to pay uh, per share will be $40, I guess. We'll go 40.49, and we'll see if the trade will go through by the end of the day. And I will buy about 104 shares to put us at 161. So we'll see if that goes through. If that doesn't go through, then tomorrow I'll just put it through for a market buy of whatever we can get. Uh, but sometimes I use limit buys just to use up as much money as I can. But sometimes they don't go through depending on what the price goes. But that's the main stocks I'm buying for today. Um, once again, nothing too crazy. You're going to go with the same things. Um, uh, I haven't bought any new stocks. And once again, during the dip, we're going to see a lot of dips. Um, we're just going to keep buying. We're going to keep buying. And then as time goes on, that money will grow. So let's take a quick peek at the dividend income. And I'll show you guys um, how our income has been uh, for this portfolio. So in terms of recent dividend payments, not too much happening. We did get a payment from ATD, which is Alimentation Couchetard on the 23rd. We have that in our personal account in our TFSA. So we got $2.54 from the TFSA and we got 80 cents from the personal account. Once again, it's not a big dividend stock. It's more of a growth based stock, uh, but it is nice to see those dividends come in because it all adds up at the end of the day. And if we take a quick peek at our tracking sheet, we can see that we're at $154 for September, uh, just under 155. So once again, this is our biggest month in terms of dividends by far. Um, but that's expected because we did do a big transfer in August of last month. We moved our Wealth Simple Invest TFSA to our Wealth Simple Trade TFSA, which which added a lot more funds into the account, so we can expect that. And our total dividends for the portfolio is about almost just under a thousand dollars. So we're just hitting that under a thousand dollars for dividend income. And once again, if we kind of highlight the graph here where I track the dividend income growing on a regular basis, we can just see that it just keeps consistently growing. And maybe by the end of uh, 2021, we can hit $200 a month. I think we can. I think even next month we might might hit it because we do have a lot of our quarterly dividends coming in. So we might hit like 200 250 next month. That'd be pretty crazy if we did. 
uh, but once again, uh, that'd be super cool. So that's just a quick little update on the dividend income for the portfolio. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it very much. If you guys enjoyed the video, please sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys later. Have yourself a good week and take care.